sure if this is gonna work. I think I'm gonna take you through stripping an arm from this here. This is an AR drone 2.0 frame, which I'm assuming is the same as a 1.0 frame. Okay, now. If you like me, you've tried all kinds of stuff to just get those arms off. When you break one of these parts, it can be a real pain to replace it because it just won't come off. You can put acetate on it, it won't come off. But if you set your blower your heat gun to 300 degrees and give it about five minutes per side of just constantly going up and down. I'm going to do this in real time. I'm not going to speed it up or anything. Actually, let's just move these bits out of the way. Searched on the internet, searched on YouTube, looking for how people had removed these arms. Nobody seemed to have done it. <coughs> it just seems like everyone got a new cross, replaced the whole thing, called it a good job. And then I was lucky enough to come across this guy from five years ago on YouTube, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, I can't remember, I'm not anywhere near a computer, but he showed me, or he showed everyone on YouTube, how to do this, and I couldn't believe it. Right, now you've got to get this real good and hot, okay, and it's going to take a while. Now I can't explain it, but there's nothing to smell right now, yeah? And just before it's ready, you're going to smell like the glue or something. You're going to smell just a smell, yeah? A new smell. It's not going to be like melting plastic. Because <coughs> you're going to be doing this for a while, as you can see. But just keep applying the pressure and suddenly you'll get this, this this little smell. It's not a strong smell, it's not particularly disgusting, it's a kind of industrial smell I suppose, industrial glue smell. But when you get that smell, you know you're about a minute away from ready. Now, I'm just picking up that smell, right? I've been picking it up for about 20 seconds, maybe. I can smell it. It's a faint smell, but it's like it wasn't there a minute ago. Okay? It's about ready. So put our arm back in. Give it a first test. And there you go. Arm off. Now, for what I'm doing, <coughs> I want four arms off. So I'm just going to continue to do this real time. I'm not going to bother to speed up the video. Just do this. Heat gun, 300, speed just below 5, or just after 5 actually, <coughs> um, 5 minutes per arm maybe,
Just keep moving along. Get it good and hot. Keep an eye out for that smell. Now right now, all I can smell is like warm air to be honest. Not picking up anything. So you just keep going. Turning it so that you don't heat one piece too much. Just run it along there. Still no smell. Well, maybe I am smelling it actually. Let's see. Yeah. That's about ready. Okay, on to arm three. You see now, once you've got a feel for it, it's no hardship. Take your time, get it good and heated up. Try to heat it up evenly all around so that whole plastic piece or composite piece, I think it's carbon composite, you know, but don't quote me on that. It seems to take heat rather well compared to like a standard plastic.
see if that one's ready. Yeah. I like to try and peel off what excess I can while it's hot because it just peels off rather than having to scrape it with a knife later on. But I have to scrape it with a knife later on anyway. Okay. That side's really hot. Give it a minute to cool off. Let's see if that one's ready as well. Nice. And there you have it. One quadcopter frame dissected into four arms in however long this video took. Now next up. Mm-hmm.